So to play progressive music is quite a difficult thing. You've got to be really good uh, entertainer to the fact that you're not just entertaining yourself. You have to draw, because it's much stronger to play to an audience that immediately affected by what you're doing and want, and they they want to take the story with you and be, and by being part of it, it it's just it becomes so much stronger. It's very nice for me in the reunion of Caravan in 1990 before we did a TV show called uh, Bedrock Series which 20 um, bands did 26 bands in fact and two 13 section shows 13 programme shows 26 programmes altogether Bedrock um, to do it uh, we, uh, we persuaded uh, Pi to do it because they said it's a really good thing you should keep playing music because the original band was good fun and they want to hear the original band and so Pi, by the goodness of his heart, said he would um, deep jump in deep end and do that again. And we did a TV show which is still being, re it's going to be released again this year actually, which I don't know too much about because Pi's doing it, but um, <coughs> by a film company called Elm Street Studios, I think it is, or, TV company representatives have moved and made their own studio and they've managed to get the tapes and things and want them really this time to work with the musicians and so this stuff's being released. And uh, so when we did this um, TV show we had to do six like concerts to get the band up to spec to play because we've not really played all together since 1972 as a main show, especially for TV. Especially if you're going to play Nine for Underground, Land Grand Pink, Winter Wine, some of Pie's music. It was very orientated around Land of Grand Pink because it's the most successful thing. Uh, there was that. also uh, videos of uh, Hollywood. And David's tunes. I mean, he always likes to get his tunes in too, which is good. That came from um, an album called Back to Front where we reformed again, actually. And I say we hadn't played since 1972. In fact, in the 80s, we played in... We played in place called Home Bay in the studio with uh, Pi's music and my music and Dave's music which was combined into an album called Back to Front and I made uh, I tried to make a title track and called it Back to Home Bay Front you know lyrics and I've always been sort of into the 1930s comedy shows goon show stuff the lyrics I'm always a musician I'm not very good lyricist but the lyrics of that are uh, back to Herne Bay Front are uh, down here on down here on Herne Bay Front. The weather's not too good. There's not a lot of crumpet, meaning there's not a lot of women. There's not a lot of crumpet, and the fish and chips are greasy. My mates and I, I carry on, are working days and sometimes nights. A uh, fifteen-track recording, though our tiny hands were frozen. It was sort of like early autumn, wintry time, you know. It's freezing down there in the Home Bay Front. It's got to be the coldest place in England in the winter. It's really cold. Comes off wind comes off the North Sea. We're working in the studio with only fifteen tracks. One track's not working, so fifteen tracks working. So anyway, so when it came to the, anyway, I don't know folk, when it came to doing these uh, six program uh, six um, concerts to get the band up to spec to do the TV show. Uh, one was at the Fridge in Brixton, which holds about 2,000 people. It's called the Fridge. It's a big, square, empty building. Uh, they did it to make enough... There's a... I uh, forget the name of the people, but there was... They did this concert, which involved uh, Osric Tentacles. Osric Tentacles. And uh, Caravan. So we had 2,000 people. Well, I suppose half the audience were Osric fans, also Caravan fans. And half the half the fans were Caravan fans that knew a bit about Osric. Osric's were in fact actually fans of Hatfield and Caravan for sure. Fans of mine, I didn't know this at the time. And it's it was talking about the strength of music and how it's lovely if you can entertain the audience. And by them taking on the story, like with Golf Girl, my tune Golf Girl, you're standing on a golf course dressed in PVC, I chance to want a golf girl who was selling cups of tea. Okay. So it's the third number, okay? And I look like I look, well, I don't have long hair. Like, and there's lots of young folks, they're 15, they don't know the band, they come to see us with tentacles. And one of them right in the front, within boot distance, goes, Come on, Grandad, sing us a tune. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Grandad, sing us a tune. <laughs> 
okay. I thought, okay, and then I could see all these people, weren't they? I knew it was Golf Girl. There's like about five or six hundred people in the two thousand. But you could see them going, Golf Girl, Golf Girl, fantastic. We're going to see it again. And, and it's the first time in my life I've had five or six hundred people going, uh, you know, and they all did it. <laughs> I don't have to sing it, do I? Even though my granddad is... And it was such a joy to hear someone, even though like, I thought I was never going to do this music again since 1972. Then they all were, all totally like into it and really enjoying them, which is what entertainment's about, isn't it? Other people singing your tunes for you, I mean, amazing. So it, it must be fantastic for people like Sting and Gabriel and, and when Freddie Mercury was like, all these people singing their tunes together, I mean, that's what entertainment's about, surely.